Good morning guys, happy Thursday, welcome back to a new weekly vlog. Um, I thought I would start, I guess this is more of like a weekend vlog, but I thought I would start it on a Thursday so that it's a little bit longer. This is me prepping for Europe, which is exciting. Uh, I'm having a black coffee. So I've started drinking just straight black coffee in the morning again. Decaf, of course, because... I can't have caffeine, but I think I would like to start trying to incorporate weak black coffee, like regular black coffee back into my mornings. <sighs> but yeah, it is just after eight. I'm gonna go train at nine. And then I'm gonna come home. I wanna do a good tidy of the apartment. Just put like all that stuff away. The things in the bags is things that I need to sell, but I won't be able to do that until I get back from Europe. I have like washing to fold, washing to hang out. My anxiety the last couple of weeks has been really, really bad. Um, probably the worst it's ever been, actually. And I have been struggling with it a lot this week and haven't really been talking to anyone about it. When I'm struggling, I don't really like to talk to any of my friends or open up to anyone about anything that's going on. I sort of just go inwards, I close the blinds, I crawl into bed and I just want to die in a hole alone. And a couple of days ago I went and shot with one of my girlfriends, Mickey, and I spoke to her about it and then I went to the gym yesterday and I saw Oscar and he knew straight away that something was wrong and so I spoke to him about everything that was going on. Um, and I also trained yesterday for the first time because I hadn't been training as well. So I just want to use this as a little reminder to you guys that if you are struggling, if you're going through anything, if your anxiety is flaring up at the moment, um, it's really important to use the support system that you have around you because as soon as I first spoke to my girlfriend a couple of days ago, I felt this weight lift off my shoulders, but then... A big cuddle from Oscar yesterday and having a good sweat session made me feel so much better. Um, and that's what these people are there for. That like, I always look at it like I don't want to be a burden. I don't. I don't want to bring anyone else's mood down because I'm sad or I'm struggling. But if you think about it, if the roles were reversed, you would never look at your friends coming to you for support as a burden. Like obviously within reason. If if it's an ongoing thing and it's draining that's a different story but in this situation where it's like once in a blue moon like it's really important to remember that that's what they're there for they would never turn you away they would never say that you're a burden so remember to talk to your family talk to your friends and just use the people around you that's what they're there for um you not you don't have to do this big scary life alone a lot more nice and it's a lot more pleasant when you rely on other people but anyway that's my two cents good to just let it out let people in doesn't come naturally to me it's definitely not in my instincts to be vulnerable with anyone um, but it's important to I will add about the black coffee I always drink a lot of water before I drink the black coffee because I don't want black coffee being the first thing that goes into my system so I want to rehydrate my body from like the big night's sleep and then I can have my black coffee. I, th I reckon I've talked about this years ago on my vlogs. Um, you never want coffee being the first thing you drink in the morning. Always have a big drink of water. But how cute is this cup I got from Cassie? It was a present. I think she got it for me. She got me a gift when she was leaving to go traveling. Oh, she's the first person I see when I get to Europe. We're staying together in Rome. She's meeting me at the airport and I'm so excited to see her. Oh my gosh, it's been like three months.
having some lunch, a Caesar salad, and then I got a roast chicken yesterday, so I'm going to pick some of that off, throw it in there, and that's my very easy, simple, lazy lunch. <laughs> Good morning guys, happy Friday. Um, I'm just about to park at Melissa Young Beauty. Um, I'm getting my laser done on my legs, presume and underarms. And then I am getting a lash lift and tint and my brows laminated. But I went to the doctor's last night to get some Valium because I'm an anxious flyer. And then I also asked about something to help me sleep on the plane. And she gave me melatonin. Yeah, melatonin, two milligrams. And she said like to take it, to try it first before I go on the plane just to like make sure because it's a new medication just to make sure it works so I took it last night and it has made me feel like a zombie today which she didn't really say that that would happen so I'm kind of like hmm my eyes are really heavy so I don't know if I just didn't get enough sleep on it but I am very groggy so I don't know if that's normal. I don't know if maybe I'm just sensitive to melatonin. Because I know that some people can be a bit sensitive to it. But I don't know. Anyway, that's my little update. <sighs> to be honest, I'm probably going to go home and have to have a nap. Because I've got the Barbie premiere tonight with MCO Beauty. I'm going with Jackson. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Can you guys let me know in the comments if you've ever taken melatonin and if you've had any adverse reactions to it? Oh my god, look at all the goodies! And it's all cute! At least, that's what the Barbies think. After all, they're living in Barbie land. Who am I to burst their bubble? Okay, the Europe packing has officially commenced. And it is, that was my foot making that sound. Uh, and it is officially, it is chaos. But I need to take a little break because it's dinner time. What is the time? It is 5.58 and I'm having laksa. Okay, I think I've finished packing. Steph is driving me to the airport tomorrow. So she's going to bring some scales so that I can weigh that. I need that to be under 20 kilos. I don't know if it is, um, but I roll all my clothes. Um, it saves room. And then I've got my Apple Air tag there, my jewelry there. And then in here, I've got my bikinis in one delicates bag and then my underwear in another. Shampoo, conditioner. This is all my contacts for the six weeks. Handbags, sunglasses and hair clips some socks, a hat, this is my makeup bag, makeup brushes, body sunscreen, face sunscreen, and body wash and moisturizer. I don't know if I'll regret taking this perfume. It's 
very sweet and like candy like for me i don't usually wear perfume like this but i do get a lot of compliments when i wear it like i wore it to mco event the other night i got three compliments on it that night and it's a full bottle so i thought i may as well take it um i'm taking my shark flex style um so that's the only heating tool i'm taking i'm not even taking a straightener because that's how good it is um my moroccan oil def curl cream um growth bomb shampoo and conditioner and then this is my toiletries bag let me pull this over i didn't get a chance to get my viviology stuff refilled so i'm gonna see if they can courier me some tomorrow but i've had to just pack random skincare products but it'll be fine so that's my checked in toiletries and then in my carry-on i've got my shoes so i think i'm only taking three pairs of shoes hi sweet girl i think i'm only taking three pairs of shoes plus my air forces which i'm wearing on the plane so i'm taking my um, Barley Taylor sandals. These are like really pretty small brown sandals. And then I'm taking a pair of heels. I don't know if I'll wear them. I don't know if I should take them. Like I genuinely just don't know if I'm going to wear heels. But I, I might. I don't know. Jewelry's out on that one. I've got my Louis. I'll probably get my Fendi out of there and put it in here. I just like to keep my designer stuff on my carry-on. Um, and then this is my carry-on toiletry. So I've got a couple of face masks, a cleanser, my, what is that called? Like a toner, liquid exfoliator, some hydrating eye drops, deodorant, moisturizer. This is like a really hydrating, that's the well of skin food. It's really hydrating. I've got my Val Valium and What's it called? Melatonin in there, lip balm, hair tie. I've got my pill in there as well um, and some contacts. And on this side, I've got my compression socks. Chill, this is Lily Brown's brand. We got that at the event the other night. I, so this is what I learned last year actually was to wear, I wore trackies, like a tracksuit set on the plane and I realized that it took up way too much room once I got to the hotter climate. I po it was the first thing I posted home. So this year I've learned I'm just wearing um, my Stax full length tights on the plane with the matching racerback crop and then a white long sleeve button up shirt that I usually wear to the beach as like a like an open beach shirt. But that's what I'm wearing on the plane and then when I touch down in Rome I'll be able to put bike shorts on because it's like a fucking heat wave there at the moment. It's like 40 degrees. So I'll wear those. I've got a few pairs of change of underwear. I'll put obviously a pair of underwear on it tomorrow and then at my stopover in Shanghai, I'll change my undies and then my second leg when I wake up, when I brush my teeth before I get off the plane, I'll change my underwear again. Um, I'm very type A when it comes to underwear. I think I've packed about 45 pairs of underwear. Um, I've got my Kindle and then this is a big like macrame beach bag. It's really pretty and i need to wear this on my leg strain up here i've got my two books these are the books that i'm taking for my trip this is the same author that wrote akatar a court of thorns and roses series um this has my vibrator all my charges my camera charger my extra batteries um what else does this have in here oh and my adapters and then do you guys remember my Chloe bag from last year, my little backpack? So this is like my everyday handbag. So the bags that I'm taking is this Chloe backpack. I'm taking my Fendi and then this cute little like mini macrame bag. Oh, could you see that? That little mini macrame bag. And my black Louis. I'll also be taking my laptop because I will need to edit. Well, I'm over there because yes, I will be weekly vlogging. This time around, I packed a lot of longer dresses i've packed lots of sarongs um and lots of long skirts so like cute little tops i don't really know a couple of pairs of denim shorts yeah i'm gonna have to see how heavy this is tomorrow because it's annoying because i get 30 kilos obviously on my like long haul flight 
but then all the internal flights are only 20 kilos but i've got my checklist here i need to go to the supermarket tomorrow and get um, a top up of honey stuff mitch and phoebe are house sitting phoebe asked if she could if they could watch honey because they think they want to get a cat but they want to see how they go with the cat and see like how they find it phoebe knows that she'll love it but mitch is a little bit nervous um but honey met mitch today for the first time honey loves phoebe but she met mitch for the first time today and she really liked him it was a really cute first meeting i kind of wish i had filmed it but anyway that is my little catch up for you guys i'm going to sign off this vlog now and get it uploaded also i'm very sorry that i took a bit of a hiatus from youtube as i always say i genuinely didn't mean to take that big of a break i wasn't even looking to take a break i just missed one vlog and then one vlog turned into two and here we are i think it's been nearly a month um but i really appreciate your patience and i've been getting messages saying i really miss your vlogs and it, it honestly warms my heart that you guys I still hear watching my vlogs. Um, I know that I don't get many views on them, but I feel like I have a really niche, small knit community here on YouTube and I really, I love it. I really do. I don't really mind about the views. I don't really do YouTube for money. It's definitely more of a hobby and a way for me to share more of my life with you guys. I'm much more candid on here and yeah, YouTube used to be where I would get some of the harshest comments back in the day and now it's definitely like my safest community I feel like so I just wanted to say thank you I really appreciate you guys and I hope you enjoyed this weekend vlog and this packing vlog and yeah oh actually did I I don't know if I'm gonna add it into this vlog but I ordered an entryway table Well, I was trying to get one on Facebook marketplace and this woman kept fucking me around and so I found this one on uh, came up and this is my uh, I need to get rid of this I'm gonna I was meant to get Mitch to help me carry it down today but I forgot um, so this is it look at how beautiful it is it's so stunning so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to paint that that I'm gonna basically paint everything but the rattan and the handles like this deep forest green and then I think I'll paint the handles gold or I might even change the handles, like put just like gold hardware on it. But yeah, I'm going to make it like a beautiful forest green color. It also came with legs, but the legs were like quite high. They were like 10 centimeters high and I didn't really like it being that far off the ground. But yeah, I think it looks really cute. I also got these fake to poppies from Kmart as well. And I think from far away, they actually look quite good i just maybe might remove some of the leaves and this is my little key dish from my last place and yeah i think it looks really pretty what do you guys think let me know i need to switch off i'm a little bit wide i need to wind down um i will see you guys when i'm in europe holy shit okay bye guys okay i've just weighed myself guys and now i just need to add subtract that Okay, so no more than 80. Where's your camera now? Okay. So it has to be 83 or less. Fuck! 85.3! Two kilos in